Okay, so I just got access to Doll E3, as you can see here. So I thought in this video we can just test a few things out. So I thought we can just start with uh, a professional photo of a stunning American born female in a 69 aspect ratio. Uh, so what I want to do here now in the beginning is just to try to generate an image I like. Then I want to iterate on it, moving into different scenes and stuff and see if that works. So let's start off with that. Okay, so this is looking quite good. So you can see here is our four images. Uh, I gotta say, this look pretty realistic. I wouldn't say it's mid-journey level, but it's not quite... This looks pretty good, right? So let's try to... I can see there's no image tag here. So I want an image tag so I can select an image, right? Okay, so we can do image B, right? So let's try to iterate on image B here. Let's try to put her in like... Uh, another scene okay so i went put the woman in image b on the streets of new york change her outfit to a dress okay so we got this right uh, i thought it was pretty good uh you can see it's not exactly the same woman but it's quite like and i really like the backdrop of the image here uh it's kind of this blurry bokeh effect i think uh so I'll, i'm gonna do change her outfit to get ready for hiking in norway Okay, <laughs> I gotta say this works, uh, but I'm not really impressed by the backdrop here. Looks almost like a painting, uh, but her, mm, yeah, looks quite good. Uh, those shoes look maybe a bit big, but uh, I guess it's fine. So let's try to change it up a bit. So I'm just gonna go professional photo of her hiking in Norway, fjords and mountains, autumn feeling. Okay, so I think we fell off a bit here. Uh, I like the image, uh, but the style is, it kind of changed from photorealism to more of like a, I don't know what to call it, it's almost like a painting, but it's nice, I, I, I kind of like it. Uh, but I did the same prompt in Mid Journey, and you can kind of see the difference here. Uh, this is a bit more realistic, I would say, photorealism, but uh, yeah, I guess some people kind of prefer this style. Uh, but for me, I gotta say, I prefer this, I think, for now at least. But of course, this is Dollar Tree, my first impression, so I might be doing something wrong with the prompting here. Uh, but I think we're gonna move on to our next test. Okay, so here I took an image, actually, from the OpenAI website. I just copied the prompt here, I ran it in here, and you can see, yeah, it's exactly that. Uh, I wanted to do some iterations, so I just went, uh, can you put a monkey holding a banana in the chair? Uh, I think this turned out pretty good. So, I think I like this one. So, we can check, take a look at all of them. Uh, I think this turned out pretty good. You can see we kept uh, almost exactly the same chair. But here it was more of a another type of monkey. But I really like this one. So, uh, I followed up with... Um, in this prompt, and I copied the prompt, right? Can you make the banana smaller and the chair pink? So, we got this. Uh, yeah, the chair is pink, but is the banana smaller? I don't think so. Uh, well, that's fine. And then I said, I want a random Pokemon instead of the monkey in the photo. Uh, and it did that. I think it did a pretty good job of that. But you can see it kind of changed up the chair a lot. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened here, but I think kind of the... The, the, the team of the, um, the chairs changed a bit. But anyway, I thought it looked pretty cool, uh, and I went make the Pokemon uh, a bit more realistic and a bit bigger, and I got this. So I gotta say, I was really happy with this image. That that's look looking very cool, right? So pretty happy how this turned out. So you can see we kind of went from this kind of just empty chair here, cool chair, but to this. And I think we just keep iterating. So I really like the natural language. So we can just go make the Pokemon more realistic. So you don't have to type in the prompt each time. That seems like a very nice thing. And that would make it easier for other people that haven't used um, text-to-image models before, I think. So I think that's a big benefit of Dolly Tree. So it's going to be exciting to exploring this. Uh, but I have some other tests uh, I wanted to show you too. So, I'm a big The Office fan, so Michael Scott's best quote is, of course, that's what she said. So, I wanted to do, you're a comedian, excellent illustrator, and a meme creator. Create a meme of Michael Scott's style, that's what she said, joke. The punchline if is, of course, that's what she said. And <laughs> look at this. Uh, <laughs> is this good? <laughs> I don't know. 
it's those big books trying to fit in there. Uh, and we have this one. I thought this one was... That's not good. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, I can't... It's That doesn't even make sense. I guess it does, but... And how am I supposed to get this in here? That's what she said. Okay, this was a bit funny. So I wanted to follow up with... Make it funnier and more on the edge. Okay, let's have a look here. So we have this one. Uh, okay, it's kind of the same. And this one. <laughs> and I thought this one was quite good. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, this was probably the best one, but I don't know. I don't know what... Is this some kind of cartoon I haven't seen before? I don't know. Uh, but I really enjoyed this. I thought it was funny. I kind of like the text here. It's not perfect, but it's quite close. Um, I'm going to try to make a few adjustments and see if we can do better. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, this thing is way too big to fit here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. This... Um, no, that didn't work. This blade just too to Gandhi's. <laughs> There's no way this rolls smoothly. <laughs> okay, I, I like this. I thought it was funny. I think people could do it much better than I did. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun with this. This is definitely something that Mid Journey can't do. So yeah, I, I enjoyed this. So here I wanted to include some kind of prompt engineering. So I just went, you're an experienced professional author and illustrator. The user will give you a post. Your task is to generate illustration that reflects the post. Here are your orders of assignment. So you're going to read the post. Create coherent illustrations in the same style for the post in a 4-3 format. And I just went, here is the post. And I pasted in like some blog post I have here. And here you can see it tried to create some illustrations for this blog post. And this was very impressive. Uh, so the first one here is kind of this oracle. That is exactly what we need in the, um, in the blog post. And here is some Nostradamus. I thought that was cool. Here are some data. I don't know what you call this. Some vector image. Yeah. And the black swan. <laughs> How good is that? Uh, so, very simple, and I just uh, I created this PDF here from my blog post, so I just pasted the images in, and I got three images for my blog post in just a yeah, couple of minutes. So, that was kind of impressive. So, that makes me even more curious how we can incorporate this into a story. Uh, I'm going to try that later, I don't think I have time for that today. But definitely, I'm going to test that out later. So next, I follow up with another prompt. So you are a tech inventor and an excellent illustrator. The user will give you a topic. Your task uh, is to generate illustrations, photos, and blueprints of the innovation. Here are order of assignments. So read the topic. Create coherent illustrations of your invention. So the topic is going to be a futuristic gaming console. So yeah, this turned out pretty cool. So the first thing we got was a photo. Of some kind of futuristic gaming console. Then we got this. Uh, is this a internal components? Pretty cool. Then we got this one. I kind of like the most. That was the blueprint. I don't know. I get this nostalgic feeling about this image. It was pretty cool. And finally we have someone using the console. I don't think that was too good. But this one was very cool. So I'm going to explore blueprints more because it seems that it's very good at that. You can see it can do text too, but it, I didn't describe that. Uh, so I want to do another prompt there where we try to get some, maybe some real uh, names here on the, um, on the blueprints. So let's try that. Okay, so let's try. You're an excellent illustrator. The user will give you a topic. Uh, your task is to generate a blueprint of the human brain. Then I wanted to name each part correctly with clear text. So yeah, can it do that? Let's find out. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, these are pretty cool, right? Uh, but you can see it tries. So you can see we have brain here, partial lobe, frontal lobe. Do we have that? Frontal lobe, yeah. But we have that twice. Cerebrium, brain stem. It's not perfect. But it looks good, I gotta say. I really like the aesthetics. 
But I wish I could kind of name it, but if maybe we alter our prompts in the future, we can maybe get a better job than this. But it looks good. So that was kind of cool. Uh, let's try something different. Okay, so I wanted to test if we could actually do a YouTube thumbnail with uh, Dolly Tree. So you can see I went for a digital brain blueprint with a big text that says Dolly Tree, open AI font in the right part. Uh, of the image, use high contrast colors to make it puff off the screen in a 69 format. So I think this looked pretty cool, right? Uh, but I tried to make a lot of them. Uh, I like this one. I thought that was cool. Uh, these were kind of miss. Uh, I really like the style of this one, but it's a bit weird. But the spelling is correct, yeah. Uh, this one I thought was pretty clever because we have doll and L and some kind of E inside this. Very clever, but not very cool logo, but not very good for maybe like a thumbnail because you, you can't really understand what it's saying. Uh, so this was a misspelling. Uh, I really like this one, but you can see the E is a bit strange. Uh, but I think my favorite was this one. Did I make this as a thumbnail? I don't know, maybe. Uh, uh, but I like this one too, but the spelling is wrong. Also, this one was pretty cool. So, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna try to use this uh, going forward when I do my thumbnails. Uh, you can also see, I wanted to show you, I meant into a rate limit here. So I had to wait 13 minutes before generating any more images. So just a heads up on that. Because you can, I kind of spammed images here, right? Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, my overall impression is kind of positive, actually. I think there's a lot of use cases that you don't have in Midjourney. We have it inside ChatGPT, so that's a great addition. And I like the natural language iterations you can do. So yeah, very excited to explore this more. Uh, I'm really excited about what we can do when we get the image upload. Can we combine that with Dolly Tree? Uh, but first impressions, overall good. Looking forward to the next video using this. Have a great day, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you again soon.